Today, you've chosen to look at shoulder impingement syndrome, one of the more common things you're gonna see in your office. There are certain things that are important, range of motion, provocative testing that you should be doing in your clinical setting. Here's an example of a recently injured worker with positive impingement syndrome. Let me show you what we find. You can see from her range of motion, her abduction and her forward flexion are markedly different. Look at her injured right side compared to her non-injured left side. She abducts fully. That's normal in impingement syndrome. Look at forward flexion when she pulls her arms in front of her. See the difference between her injured right side and her non-injured left? She stops at about 120 degrees. She can't get any further. She self impinges. Let's go to the next part of the physical exam, the provocative maneuvers that you do as a doctor on your patient to prove or disprove your diagnosis. Classic one is the near test. Look at this maneuver when the patient's hand is palm to the floor, she elevates to 100 degrees and then stops. There's pain in that shoulder anteriorly. Let's do the Hawkins maneuver on top of the near. Supinate the hand. She goes up another 20, 30 degrees before pain stops her. And then probably the most provocative test you can do is the crossed body adduction maneuver. Look what happens when we adduct her arm, internally rotate her arm, and then elevate her elbow to her nose, provocative pain. One other test you can do is have the patient scratch their own back. She puts herself in that provocative position and all you simply do is elevate the elbow. These physical exam maneuvers will help you and Texas Mutual define the extent of injury. But you have to document that in every one of your clinical notes. Be sure to document the positives and the negatives of your physical exam findings. Thanks for watching Workplace Diagnosis.